I've went over the history of cubic castles in a separate video before, which did pretty well. However, I didn't like how I created the script, because I didn't went over the important parts of the game. With that in mind, I wanted to create a video talking about the game's updates and how it changed over the years. After all, this game has been launched almost 8 years ago. So in today's video, I will show you how this game went from a simple 3D platform to the masterpiece we know today. Hello everyone, Laksanara here, and I present to you the History of Cubic Castles Updates. Just moments before the official release of the game, in 2013, Cubic Castles got its first update, which was a 0.4.8 update. That's when we start seeing the game taking its shape, with new features such as water blocks, randomized mine generation, and the creation of the Cubic Store, which used to look like this back in the day. Bug fixing and new mines and blocks were added up until the 0.5.3 version of the game, published in January of 2013, alongside the creation of mountain mines and the inclusion of a new login screen. In the start of 2014, these updates came out, with new wearables being added, such as cat ears and the princess hat, new blocks such as painted glasses, plasters and checkerboard blocks, and there was the inclusion of the realm deeds, pre-flattened realms and the addition of crafting, alongside the new to piggy. In February, the crafting dream happened, with the addition of chests, workbenches and forges. Centuries were also added and the first version of the overworlds came out, including the castle skins. On the 0.7 version, New blocks were added, such as stairs and half blocks, there was a revamp of the cube store, and new wearables were included. However, on the 0.7.2, the cube store was improved and a tutorial was put in place for new players. In 0.7.5, Cubic Castles had your first public build, and in 0.7.6, there was a new UI, including the flags which displayed from each country you were. Jumping a little on the update timeline, in 0.7.9, new blocks were added, and there was the addition of bombs and nukes. Also, the Almighty Cube was added, so you can admire about the fact that the Almighty Cube is part of Cubic Castle's lore. Yeah, I bet you didn't know Cubic Castle's had lore. Jumping a bit more in time, a lot of stuff was added, like new stamps and bottomless realms. Now you can give thrust or ban people on your realms, anti chi was added, and the teleport to friend feature was added, alongside new blocks such as cannons and hill blocks, and also the launcher pads for the overworlds. On 0.8.7, distillers and extractors were added. New blocks also made its way, and Cubic Castles had its first support to iOS devices. 1.0 settled in, and it brings a whole lot of stuff to the table. PvP was added, a few security measures for our realms came in too, new stamps were included, and this was the first inclusion of the cash registers. 1.0.2 was the update for wearables. All of these were added, and so was Wings, which fun fact, weren't wearables items for a while. These blocks were also added, alongside with some more stamps, and now you could unlock your camera so you could rotate to all 360 degrees, alongside a new tutorial. 1.0.3 comes in, and we finally have levels and perks. That was also when quests were added, and that was also when desert and tropical mines were included. On the 1.0.4 update, we got our first ever pack, which was the Utah's pack. Not only that, but the QB and post bombs were also added, alongside scaffolds, the perk toggle feature, and some hidden secrets. The year is 2015, and the 1.0.5 update comes in, with the addition of clans, edible items, these new wearables, and friend codes. Also, for some reason, back in the day, players could pick up your items without having permission, but that was fixed within this update. The 1.2.7 comes out, and holy cow, that is a big jump. Easter eggs were added alongside the mannequins. However, in between 1.2.8, not much was added apart from new blocks, items, packs, and mobs. However, on the 1.3.6, the dog and cat pads were added, and that also brought the new versions of the Cubit Store over to iOS and Android systems. On 1.4, apart from the first ever Halloween pack, new hats, warp bumpers and safer trading, we've also had the first ever lobbies and the addition of the weather pack, with all the plethora of different weather snaps you can choose from. Oh, it's 2016. Cool. On the 1.4.3 and 1.4.6, new blocks were added, we also had the first Valentine's pack, custom flags, and the suit jacket has been added to the Cubic Store in the clothes pack. Lightning round! 3, 
two, one, go. New blocks, sculpted pixels, Easter pack, Thanksgiving pack, this is all your packs too. New hats, a turkey pad, new bumpers like the info together bumper, mailboxes, a new lobby, and now we can go up to level 60. Would you look at that? The game's now starting to take shape as how we know it today. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere, because now we have vending machines and cars. Also, the game had some boring policy changes, no one cares for that. It's also 2017, time flies really fast, I know. In the 1.7.2 update, we had the Easter pack added, and by the time that the 1.8 update came out, farming was introduced to the public with a variety of crops, three different farm animals, and a few farming blocks. By the 1.8.2 update, we had the Toons update, which had the fight songs to add into your realms, the addition of more scoopty blocks, sports balls, and new farming perks. By the 1.8.3 and 1.8.5 updates, we had a few new packs such as for Halloween and the Fall Pack, but within this update we had events like the Ghost Hunting event, followed up by 12 new crafting recipes, the addition of fairy stone items on farming, and a few bug fixes. Ending 2017 with a little update magic, on the 1.8.7 update, we got the Shrink Bumper, the Farmer's Almanac, the Link Door Snap, and the No Littering Block. And to add it all, by the 1.8.8 update, we had yet another U-type pack, the addition of the rules option on the menu, and some more bug fixing. It's 2018. However, for the first few days, there wasn't that much big updates. All we had for a while was events such as the Valentine pack and its contests. However, by the 1.9.4 update, we were presented with the Switches update. For the entirety of the 1.9 section, Almost all we had were packs such as Summer, Halloween, Kitchen, Fall, Valentine's, Easter, Sci-Fi, Yuletide, Easter, April Fool's and Marine pack. We had a few new additions here and there such as Deep Forest Mines, the Kit Chat Emoji menu and some other ones that aren't that worth mentioning. However, to mark a new year for Cubic Castles on the 2.0 update, by the ending of 2020, we had the presentation of a new overworld system. From the 2.0.3 to the 2.1.2, once again, we had a bunch of new events and minor additions that wasn't of much interest. That would go on for the next year, and by the February of 2022, on the 2.1.2 update, all we got was the Valentine's pack. For two excruciating years, we were anxiously waiting for a new update to come out. Sneak peeks were being sent on Cosmic Cow channel, but nothing truly came out. A lot of players lost hope that an update would release, and by these two years, Kibi Castle suffered a great player decrease crisis. However, when all hopes were lost, on April 8th of 2022, on the 2.1.221 update, we finally got a major update. The Custom Texture and NPCs update. That's where the game stays now. Ever since January 11th of 2013, after 9 years of development, this is where Cubic Castles lands as of today. This game might not have the biggest community nor the greatest ideas, it might even be considered a lost game for some as we calmly waited for updates in hopes that the game would change. However, being able to have a game out for 9 years is by a lot of people one of the hardest feats someone could ever think on. Cubic Castles had one of the biggest evolves in video game history, yet it still goes unseen by the more of 1 million players that has played the game on Android alone. For what's next for Cubic Castles? We don't know yet, but we are sure that Cosmic Cow Games is thinking big for the next major update. With such an astounding history, although some players don't enjoy the game as it is now, it is safe to say that, at least for me and hundreds of players out there, this is the best game that has ever been watched. I have worked in this video for over a year now and 
<laughs> oh lord, it is amazing to be able to launch this. Oh my god. I went through what I can consider the worst moment of my life. I mean, I, I had family losses, I lost motivation to both play the game and work on YouTube. And to make things worse, I had to say goodbye to a few long lost friends. Yet I managed to somehow go through it all and be able to launch this video. I really thank you guys for watching this. It really helps me out a lot. I can really describe how touching your support is. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Give your opinions in the comments down below and maybe send this video out to a friend or two that might want to play Cubic Castles. Recommending the game to other players is one of the best ways that we can get to re-innovate the community and this video might help them recognize how big of a deal this game is. I also have a Discord server which you can join on the link down below and don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss out the videos that I do. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a wonderful day.